Hi, YouTube family, and welcome to the very first episode of the Duchess Podcast. For this episode, I wanted to do a little introduction on myself, my past, why these episodes might matter to you, and what you can expect in all of the upcoming videos. You probably stumbled across my channel because you're visiting from my Facebook, or you've picked up a copy of my book, The Edge of Broken. If that's the case, you have a pretty good idea on my background. But if you're completely new to who I am, then this intro to our podcast series will help clear that up some. I grew up in Adana, Turkey. My mother was Turkish and my father was in the American Air Force, stationed out there when my parents both met. They had a pretty ugly relationship and there was a lot of neglect and mistreatment of both my younger brothers and I from my mom and her mother's side. Inevitably, my parents ended up separating. They had a lot of animosity for each other and that only grew after my dad found out about the neglectful abuse from my mom's side. Due to the neglect, we ended up coming back to the States with my father. Now, prior to leaving Turkey, he ended up getting together with another woman during the span of my parents' divorce, who would then end up being my stepmom. When we got to the States, I ended up falling extremely sick because one of my kidneys completely shut down due to an undetected birth defect, and I had to go through a few surgeries. I almost ended up dying from those surgeries because of a major mistake the doctor had made. He had cut a blood vessel or vein, whatever the exact thing was, and I ended up bleeding out into my stomach for a few days and passed out and nearly died. Well, fast forward, made it out of that all right, but instead of life getting better, it got a whole lot worse. I went through horrific abuse in my childhood. I was molested for years by multiple men in my family. I had a really hard relationship with my father and my stepmom, and I went through a lot of physical and emotional turmoil on top of the sexual abuse. Because I had such a disconnect from just about everybody, uh, minus my now five younger siblings, I felt like I was drowning and had nowhere to go and no one to turn to. So I ended up running away at the age of 16. Now, Obviously, this is a very condensed version of my past, which you'll know if you've read my book. Uh, but we'll get a lot more deeper into things that I've been through and who I am and why that matters to the things that I'm going to talk about as the podcast goes on. But to start, I just wanted to give you a general idea of the woman behind the voice. After running away, I faced extreme poverty. I lived homeless out of a tent in the woods in Texas, I lived out of my car, I snuck around and lived out of storage units, and no, you're not allowed to live in storage units, so that was a crazy experience in itself. Um, but I was just all over the place. I went from just a horrific childhood to then being thrown into a world that I had no idea how to live through, so I had to figure out life in general, and I made a ton of mistakes along the way. On top of trying to survive in the real world, I was trying to also survive my own head. I was severely depressed, incredibly suicidal, and dealt with massive anxiety that was constantly giving me panic attacks. I had PTSD and just a long list of mental health problems and emotional health problems due to years and years of just abuse. And on top of that, I also faced a lot of anger and trust issues. Now, it's expected with someone in my scenario growing up the way that I did, but it was extremely severe. And it really caused me to block out a ton of people in my earlier stage in life who could have helped, but I was so walled off. I hated everybody, I couldn't trust anyone, and it just made me sink into a hole that was deeper and deeper of poverty and just complete misery and unhappiness. Well, I slowly and very painfully made it out of that life. Now I have a multi-million dollar marketing firm. I have a beautiful family and the most precious little girls in the world, and I'm married to an amazing man. We get to live out my dream of traveling the world, and I get to write books and finally be the author I've always known I would work hard at becoming. Life's great now, but it was hell on earth getting to be here today. And despite the glitz and glam of a successful life, money doesn't buy away our pain. So even with everything I've worked hard at accomplishing, I still struggle with a lot of issues because of my past. Today it could be anger, tomorrow it could be anxiety, 
the next day could be depression. I think when you've been through the type of abuse I did growing up, those things, no matter how successful your life ends up being, never truly goes away. I mean, it literally molded me into the person I am today. And I'm just now trying to figure out how to enjoy life because I'm finally at a point where I'm not looking over my shoulder in fear and panic over the next horrible thing that might happen. Well, okay, I still do that, but that's just because of my anxiety and not because of the situation I'm in now. So that's a general overview of my story and a big part of what this podcast series is going to be about. It's really going to be focused on talking about the hard stuff, the stuff people don't like talking about, especially on social media. We live in a world where we are made to think that we have to be happy all the time and everything is just rainbows and unicorns. And when we see that with other people and we don't have that within our lives, we feel broken. We feel like, why is everyone so seemingly happy? and I'm just miserable all the time, I'm unhappy all the time, why do I suffer and deal with all of these problems? But this whole facade of everybody being happy just couldn't be further from the truth. And because of this lie that we portray on social media, I think it's caused even more problems with people. We feel even worse about ourselves because we see other people in such good spaces in their life. We see successful people and we say we want to be them. There's something wrong with me. But let me tell you, coming from somebody who came from nothing and built that powerful, successful empire and made all the money and travels the world, none of that stuff goes away just because you get paid more. Just because the bank account goes up by a few dollars doesn't buy the happiness that everybody thinks success buys. You still deal with the issues you've always dealt with. Does it buy convenience? Do you get to feed your kids? Does it buy happiness in that sense that you can keep your bills paid and your lights on? Absolutely. But emotionally, internally, who we are as our identity and the issues that we deal with because of circumstances or our past or whatever, all of that stuff doesn't just go away with success. And that's what I want to do with this podcast. I want to talk about the real life stuff because I know that when I went through it, it didn't feel like enough people were talking about it. It feels like most people don't want to talk about it because they hate facing that part of themselves, but therein lies the issue. If you don't face the things that you struggle with, will you ever fix it? Will you ever heal? Will you ever understand it? So that's what I want my channel to be about. Those moments where we feel like we are crumbling and this channel will be a small, safe space to come to, listen to someone who knows how you feel, connects with you because of it, and hopefully inspires you along the way. I mean, I went through horrific things and in a matter of a few short years, completely changed my life around to build the incredible empire that I have now. But again, as I've noted earlier, all of the issues we face doesn't go away. So I want to talk to you about those things. I mean, we're going to get really personal in this podcast. I'm going to tell you a lot about me in hopes that it connects with you. We're going to talk about things like depression, anxiety, abuse, self-worth issues, anger issues, suicidal tendencies, and all of the not so pretty things of life that go along with that. And on top of that, we're gonna connect the things that we struggle with within us to the inspiring things that help us get out of our own heads and out of our own ways. I'm gonna talk about how I went from living in a storage unit and a tent only a few years ago to buying a half a million dollar home in cash at 25. And no, I didn't have some millionaire family member who bought my way to success. I worked. I worked hard, long, and through so many tears and screams. I was stressed out and had, I was completely exhausted, but I still worked. I was still determined to become the person that I wanted to be and the person that I am today. And although I still have so much more growing left to do, I'm proud of how far I've come. So this podcast series is going to be about my story and hopefully how it can inspire your own story. We'll talk about personal issues, but we'll also talk about the business aspect of life. I'll talk to you about the things I did to heal through the emotional and mental health issues I had and the things that I did to come out of poverty to build the business that I have today. So 
we're going to incorporate personal with business because I think that's a very big part of who we are all together. And I want to touch on every single aspect. The work side that funds the ability for us to enjoy the personal side. I know a lot of us struggle on our personal sides because of our work life. A lot of us are burnt out or unhappy or feel misused. So I want to address the business side because it does make a big effect on who we are on the personal side. If you struggle with any issues that deal with anxiety, stress, depression, suicide, etc., and you want to know how to live through it and build a successful life while facing these issues, then you're on the right channel because these are the discussions we're going to have. I remember laying on a rooftop after I ran away at the age of 16 and telling myself that I was going to make it, that I was going to write a book, tell my life story, and encourage and inspire millions of others to survive through their pain and succeed in life in whatever definition of success means to you on an individual level. I mean, that's what my purpose felt like it was meant to be. That's what I told myself. I went through all of this horrific, nasty, horrible things. I was given incredible strength and energy to get through it so that hopefully I could turn it around and inspire people to get through their own pain and suffering in every stage of their life with whatever it is that they're struggling with. So that's who I focused on becoming. That's who I wanted to be. And that's what this YouTube platform is going to help me accomplish through my books, through my channel, and through my other writings and rantings. I hope it connects with you on an incredibly deep and personal level so that it helps you grow. Now, if this sounds like something you need in your life, be sure to subscribe. I have dreamed of building a community of people who are just good human beings that have just been crapped on by life and they just need some guidance, whether that's financial or through the words of someone who has been in similar shoes. At the end of every podcast, I'm also going to do giveaways. I'm a firm believer in that you get what you give. And I don't think I'd have the life I have now if I wasn't always focused on giving back on every single level I can. We'll start off with smaller gifts and work our way up to maybe giving away homes and cars and what have you. Anyways, this was just to let you guys know what to expect. Each podcast will have a specific topic that we'll dive into and discuss deeper, whether that's personal issues or advice on building your own successful business. But for now, this is a big friendly hello. I hope you stick around. I hope you subscribe and I hope you get to be a part of a community I have spent a lifetime wanting to build. Kickstart our giveaways. I'm going to be giving away 250 signed copies of my book, The Edge of Broken, as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers. Now the book is about my life story and a little bit more in depth over the abuse that I went through and all of the horrific tragedy that I went through and how I made it my way out of it and into the life that I have now and into the successful career that I have now. So if you enjoy reading nonfiction books about people's lives, and how they went from basically rags to riches. I hope you enjoy my book. All you have to do to win a copy is just subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below to let me know that you're here. Now, on top of our weekly podcast, you'll also see a few other types of videos on my channel. This could be poetry. It could be me reading chapters or pages out of my books or it could be a vlog of life in general. Though I'm working up the nerve to feel that comfortable in front of a camera, so that'll be a little bit before you get into lifestyle vlogs. All right, I'll let you get back to your lives. Love you guys tons, and I look forward to seeing you guys on all of the upcoming podcasts. We've got some amazing things to talk about, amazing things to give away, and I truly believe we're all going to be doing a lot of growing along the way. Until then, I'll see you guys on next week's podcast.